talk about what's going on. All right. Okay, so um, I got settled into the Airbnb and I think tonight I'm just gonna like roam around Capitol Hill and check out some of the bars, you know, be one with the culture. All right, so I found the taco place. It looks pretty legit. Um, I had to go up the steps. It's like in an alley and then go up the steps and now I found it. So I will be the judge of how delicious these tacos are. Just finished up at Taco Chuki's, I think that's how you pronounce it, and those tacos were phenomenal. You guys have to, I mean, I'm like speechless at how delicious they were. I got two chicken and one steak, just because I'm more of a, if the chicken is diced, I prefer it diced, and if it's shredded, I'm not so much, but they were so good. They were topped with onion and cilantro, and then like an avocado-like crema sauce so good so make sure you guys if you ever come to seattle and you're in the capitol hill area all of the blogs that i looked at may like they said it was mandatory for you to try these tacos and i'm glad that i did because y'all know i'm a taco connoisseur and those tacos were so good so good definitely check that out so i have made it to a bar i just randomly walked upon it it's called stout and it's pretty cool i just ordered a capitol hill meal so I'm excited to drink this. And then the bartender let me try some different beers that they have on tap. This is a cider, which he said, I want to say it's like 10.8 or something percent alcohol. It's like very strong. And then this other fun one, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it has like hints of in it. So it was pretty easy. So I'm literally just at this bar drinking a water bottle. But the bartender's really nice and he's fun to talk to, so it's helping. And I'm also texting Tanya. <laughs> I just finished up at an amazing bar. The bartender Steven was phenomenal. I met some really cool people while I was just sitting there. And for the happy hour, you got $2 off any of the cocktails. You got some money off of um, some of their drafts, which they had a bunch of different drafts that they offered. And I think some of like the appetizers had the special or whatever. But I, since I had the tacos, I didn't eat. But it's, it's on Pine and 11th Street. Um, you guys should definitely check it out. I thought it was awesome. The atmosphere was nice. I loved the decor of the bar. But the exciting thing was um, the bartender told me about an app because I asked him, yo, like, what should I do tonight? Like, where can I go? And he told me about an app called Block24, B-L-O-K-2-4. And it pretty much pinpoints your location where you're at and looks to see what different um, events or happy hours or tastings that are happening in that area that you pin yourself in. So I thought that was pretty sweet. I thought it was just like a Seattle thing, but it's anywhere. So this is literally an app you can use whenever you go traveling to figure out where happy hours are or whatever the case may be. So you guys should definitely try that app out. I downloaded that shit and I plan to use it whenever I go different places now because I thought it was really helpful and then that actual place popped up on the on the site so it was pretty cool so now I'm gonna walk back toward where I was staying just because it's getting dark out and I want to be closer to my location rather than farther away and I think I may turn in early tonight just because I've been up so early and I want to get up early to get the day started and do a lot of adventuring or do a lot of exploring tomorrow so I will see you guys in a little bit all right so day one in a nutshell got here went to pike's place market walked around grabbed some lunch mailed jalen's postcard walked around downtown seattle came to capitol hill checked into my airbnb walked around capitol hill some more stumbled upon an amazing bar talked to some great people 
went and got some henna i didn't put that in there but i went and got some henna and then i went to a thai restaurant for dinner wasn't the best thai food i've had it was pretty salty but it was still decent and now i'm home so so far i really like it like i don't feel like i'm alone i feel I mean, I, there are moments where I'm like, oh shit, there's no one to really talk to, but everyone's been texting me and checking on me and making sure I'm okay, so I definitely feel safe. Day one of Seattle in the books, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.